it would come out, but yeah. then it healed over so good yeah. it wouldn't come out. You see a little pumped in a little hole, but I'll tell you, most of the time we don't do these. It's just that we started to do them because people like to watch these on, uh, on, on YouTube. No. Isn't that? <laughs> really? So you're going to be famous. Your right. chest I always had 30 people in them, oh. and it was grim. I I'll see. ask Deb, tell you, do you probably know the plan? Oh, yeah? I don't know the plan. What is the name of it? You don't know the name of it? I can't think of the name oh. of it. Well, if it's one that I don't use, then I won't know the name of That's it That's it. I'm sure you don't use it, because right? yeah. we couldn't come here. There's a little pump in there. I'm going to try to get to that right there. Make sure I'm, I'm not hurting you, right? No. Now, you said your wife has a couple of these, huh? Yeah, on her so back. now she hears that we're doing this. She's might going to be coming in. To well, she's got to come in anyway. Herself. She just wanted me to come first. Yeah, you're the you're the um, one that. I'm more gets to... urgent. Oh. But she I'm has just the, her skin, just one little one on the face, uh, that she's, she's been watching. This. I see. But she, she didn't want to both do both the same day. I understand. So is she? So did she? Was she also in academics like you? Yeah, right. Oh yeah. Did you both retire at the same time? No, she's still working. Oh she's really? Wonderful, have a working wife. Yes, it is. Ooh, let me drop a little bit of the cyst. Let me make sure I catch that later. Hold on. I'm just going to push on you a little harder. It's stuck okay. under there. It, it's been a while since you were able to squeeze oh, yeah. it, huh? Yeah, quite a few years. Well, I might need a little, um, like a, a little curette. If you have I a baby curette. I don't know what curette. causes Let's see if I can't squeeze anything out of there. No, I can't. So I'm going to use my trusty little baby curette here and see if we can't scoop that rest of that out with the sack, the lining there. So we'll get your wife in here and we'll, we'll um, be able to take care of hers too. Come on, look. And this thing is, wants to stay with you. Just so make sure I get the whole the outside of it too. This is one of my f my father's curettes. When he was um, a doctor, he used to use this, and I never really used it. And now we're gonna have more women in father. science. The yeah. STEM program. Oh, it's really? Really catch them up. Yeah, Pitzer. Uh, that's where my wife went to school for a oh. bachelor's. They're starting a whole big surge for women in science. Did you meet her out here? No. But is that what prompted you to move back here too? Like, because yeah. you were lived, you said you lived and our all son, around. Our son moved out from here. Kansas. You love Kansas basketball. No, yeah, but not Kansas. Not Kansas. <laughs> not Kansas. It's in Vanderbilt. No, no, it's in it's in Tennessee. Uh huh. Why That's is that? Why is it named Kansas? Do you know anything? No, about it was Vanderbilt University in Tennessee and Kansas University in Kansas. Oh, okay. Now, I've been at now several. I know. Understand what you're talking about. You know what? This one is proving to be quite stubborn. I'm getting it, but I have to... I'm almost wishing I had a different instrument here. I know I'm not hurting you. No. I know no. I just need to pull this whole sack out. Otherwise, it will just... Fill up again. Refill, exactly. Now, if that happened, it's not that huge of a deal, but... I left, I left university this. work go with my wife to get her doctorate oh. and then we both became professors in I, our field I see it was well, a fairly is, what new is your field, field may I ask? it was actually it's been called many things but special education exceptional children oh okay it was the beginnings in the uh, Sorry, 50s of uh -huh. including handicapped children in the schools That's and they didn't really have any leadership training or programs to prepare people to work with handicapped Got kids it. at the schools. And now they do. I will say I'm very impressed with a lot of my friends who may have kids who have special needs and they go to public school. Some mm -hmm. some parts of the our country, they're very good at like Well, some in back in my day, I started in 1950. Okay. There were almost no programs in the public schools for handicapped kids. Really? So you were just out of luck. Yeah, and now I actually, particularly, I just I know people like in the East Coast. I think that they have pretty good programs they out do. there. They do, and all states now are legislated to have to have I programs. See. And you said you're going to be ninety. August. August. Looks like I'm going to make it. I think it's you getting are. closer. <laughs> I think you are. All right, I think we got it. I think we Great. scraped it all out, and it should heal well from that inside out. It's not very deep at all.
vein, so I thought maybe it was just a part of a varicosity of that vein, but when I pinched it, it was hard. So you might have a little blackhead in there. I think it is a blackhead. Now that I put numbing under there, it kind of come, came out of the little center little hole, so I think it is a little blackhead. Just because it's so hard, I'm gonna see if I can't lift it and pinch it up. No, that won't work. It's like we can't grab you very well right here, so it's hard to. So this bugs you, huh? Because it gets caught on your, yeah, on your pants or something when you try yeah. to lift up, huh? And hurt. It really hurt. Yeah, it does. No, oh, it's just I can't push against you here. grab you well enough to squeeze it. Let's see here. I can only grab like really small and then let's see if I can't grab. Oh, there we go. We squeeze it out just like that. See our little friend here? Well, that was a blackhead. Yeah, I think it is either blackhead or what's called a pilometricoma. Well, I'll go ahead and um, put it on the table here so we can take a look at it a little bit better in a little bit. Okay. All right. Otherwise, let's come up real close because there's nobody here. We know no person on it. So that was what came out, and I think it's a blackhead. I'm not really sure. So cut through it. Either that, or it's, it's called a. It's really rock hard. You know, this could be a. I can't even cut through it. Look at that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna send that in. I'm gonna see if it's a pilometricoma or not. Is it, I can't even cut through it. Yeah, it's like a little stone. Your little area got blistered and got really itchy, Yeah, like right? watery. Really I mean, oh yeah, really and itchy and burning. Okay. Burning, well, yeah. I have an answer. Okay, so that's the end of I'm gonna put a little nick here because you're going to a wedding in like a couple weeks and we don't want them to see this little thing either. Yeah. And you just keep looking in. I bet that's one of the first things you look at in the mirror. Oh yeah, it hops out at you. Okay, pressure, just push it on you. It's almost all out. It's kind of put a little numbing under there so you won't. You're pushing on you, it's a little uncomfortable to push right there. Got it, I do believe. Yeah, I lost it. Where's it? There it is. I don't want you going home with it. This is 40 by 25, that's millimeters, not inches, okay? Do you need to let, you wanna lay back? We removed this, this is a Corrado acanthoma, which is a type of, a type of uh, skin cancer that grows kind of quickly here. If it hurts, you let me know. Okay. So, you know, I asked him if he did radio and he had done radio. Listen to his voice, isn't it just wonderful? I'm going to take my Mohs layer here around it. Make sure we're not hurting you. Just kicking off a little Mohs layer here. So we're going to check this under the microscope. Try not to go too low. I know you got the foot. Just really place this Out, so I just kind of do the general hand. So here's this here's the skin I removed. I'm just marking the tissue so I know when I look under the microscope 
what the orientation is. So I mark it with different colors here. Red uh, skin cancer here were taken off and I'm taking out points, the points at the ends to close it. So what I'm going to do is called a graft, meaning a burrow's graft specifically. Okay. It means I'm gonna take this tissue that we use to take the points out so we can close this properly. I'm gonna use that to patch up the middle of this area. Because mm -hmm. it's not gonna close up side to side. It's too large, it's too, it would be too tight. You'd have to walk around giving everybody high fives instead of shaking their hand because you can't close your hand. <laughs> okay. We don't want that to happen. You don't smoke, correct? I gave up smoking 35 years ago. And how old are you now again? 94? 94. That's fantastic. That's a long, that was a whole lifetime, two <laughs> lifetimes ago. <laughs> Did you, was it difficult for you to give up smoking? Yeah, uh, I just decided it would be a good idea. Yeah. And then my wife decided she'd quit. Uh -huh. And then my kids decided they'd quit. Oh, okay. So I think. Huge pictures on the side of uh -huh. bad cancers or people with their uh -huh. lungs all black or missing part of their throat. Old. Wow. And I quit when I was 56. Wow, you smoked for a long time, yes. So it was not that easy. Well, it's probably too late for that. This is what we need it for right now. So, you know, I think it's 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 okay. If you're if you can you know stop maybe for a day. Gather the edges to make this smaller, and then we can't close the whole thing side to side. Um Oh. <laughs> I need to have it written out for you. Maybe you could write You want me to say it now? Yeah. Cash Dr. Pimple Popper on Snapchat. Actually moving the tissues that I took out. This triangle here and this triangle below. I'm trying to use it. First I'm sewing the two together because I need to patch this area. This is called the Burroughs graph because I'm trying to use those triangles we took out on the edges to close the center. Yeah, I watch a lot of television. Or yeah. What's your favorite show? It's the news a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, none of the current shows. Uh, Do you really like, yeah. What's your favorite movie? It's funny you should ask that because I was thinking the same thought oh. years ago, not very long ago, who was a producer at Paramount Pictures. Uh huh. And he asked me the same question. He said, Which is your favorite? And my answer, and he didn't like it. <laughs> and the reason was the picture didn't make any money. Oh. <laughs> Man, he yeah. lived to be 95. Oh, my. Were you in the movie business? You were in the radio a little bit. Well, my son. He worked, he worked for KISS FM and he used to fly the helicopter? Yes. Wow, uh, that's pretty cool. So one year, um, probably about 10 years ago, and asked if he could get a ride up to Lone Pine, California, where they have a film festival every year in October, through the years, as a producer. Mm. So he was there a long time. He was with Paramount Pictures for all And yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm ready for you. I'm going to tell you what to do here. And then I'll be back to do that sutra on top and take a look. Yeah, like we had it wrapped in the waiting room so that it gives you a little extra support there too while it's healing. Well, it's about as tight as that then so they could get a reaction out of the row C and that takes place every like you yeah. find that remarkable? It's kind of, well it's kind of gone out of style though hasn't it? I, used to, I learned to sew when I was growing up not like this I learned to sew like with that.
design clothes and hold them into reality and then have someone wear them. Pregnant with her, I sewed a couple blankets, I sewed a couple clothes and hats, things like that for her that you can't find the way you want them. So you just, you know, it's nice to know how to just make graft we have here and I'm going to put some antibiotic ointment over it okay and and so what I have to do what I have to do is put a dressing on top to keep this pushed down in place it's called a bolus dressing okay okay this kind of dressing because this tissue was detached from you and I want to make sure it reattaches oh, I see. so we push it down into place Stop. And now I'm going to put this non-stick bandage over that. It's okay, I missed so much. I'll just have to tune in for more. <laughs> now I'm going to put a cotton ball over it so that it, it keeps it in. I'm going to sew a dressing into place here. I'm that, going to... That's okay. Yeah, and you should be glad. I ran out of hot pink. Normally I make this hot. So this is a bolus dressing. It creates a little pressure on this area okay. so that it won't dislodge. You just be Custom careful. Custom made. Custom made, that's right. No wrinkles. No, oh Stretch my gosh, <laughs> we don't need wrinkles, do we? At my age. Well, for this one to get better, but it finally did, huh? Because you're too busy. You're like a busy bee. It's you're been a long involved. six Fantastic. weeks, has not it? Put your other hand next to Somewhere it. Somewhere in there. Can you put your other hand next to it? Put your other hand. This one? Right next yeah, to it. Yeah, right down. I just want to see you compare how size is. That one looks better. It's more pink. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Quite a good looking hand. I think it might be better looking than the other side now, huh? Quite a difference. Yeah, it took a while though. Remember how swollen it was? It was quite scary. It's because of your handiwork. Oh no, I think Dr. it's your Lee? healing. It's your healing. You're looking good.